Hi guys. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how my YouTube extension works. So this is a, an extension that you can use to play drums. Um, I added a pitch fader to control the, the pitch of the video, like this. It has a good resolution, so you don't have like the cuts of digital uh, pitching or semitones pitching. Uh, I added some faders for volumes on the samples, kick, hat, and snare. So it's easy to, to really quickly mix the each sample I mapped on these three keys over here on the keyboard. And the main function of this extension is to add some cue points on the timeline here using command on Mac or control on Windows and press the number buttons like this. And it goes from 1 to 0 over here, so I can play like this. And the main thing is you can put the cue points and then rearrange and loop with the loop over here with the R key on the keyboard you can record some loops like this Press two times and you can erase the loop. And then record again. And you can over dub some layers on top like this. Each time you you press on the over dub, it records on the same loop as a layer and then you can undo stuff like this you can also start with some drums So you can play on with the sample. And the good thing is that you can still play the loop if you change videos like this. It stays, it stays on. So I can I can do some live interaction with different samples with the same loop and stuff. And you can remap the things. The cues, I mean. 
you can also change for example this one you can drag with the mouse the different cues okay and this thing is nice because you can export loops as audio and now as video as well look i can press on the v key over here to record one single loop of video but with drums and the video feed like this you get this nice little preview window that you can drag you can stop by clicking on it and it's click again and it starts again so you can chill and listen to the loop you just recorded and uh, export it to, to mp4 like this can stop it and check and you can erase the loop and this window disappears if I press two times on V so you can erase really quickly the some ideas and do stuff really quick like this I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do different loops in audio this time and export them really quick like this i record the loop first let's see if it loops i'm gonna record it again okay, now we should loop properly Again, okay. now we should loop. I can export this press on the U so it erases the last sample from the video so I get the drum loop again and I can do other stuff I'm gonna record this For this again you and I'm gonna do another thing And this one too. It's a fun way to make uh, little patterns in f in sample format and export it to dot wave files. And one nice thing that I added on this last beta with vid with the video function is that you can now. Um, record a loop record an audio loop like this okay 
so it loops. Now the pitch fader is controlling the video, I'm gonna control the loop, so I can export this loop with this pitch and now I can do this. I can export it with the new pitch I added. And this again. So it did support it. Did. Now, another one. I don't know if it two times. <laughs> I also added a MIDI function that you can activate if I had you have a MIDI controller that has a, a kind of MPC um, setup with the buttons so you can do you can mark use with this button as a shift button like the control and and command keyboard so it's like this you can press it and then chop with these lines of buttons like this You can play the drums with these three buttons. Those are the buttons for the samples. And you can change the pitch with the bank under. You go under one bank and with these two buttons you can change the pitch. Look. change the control to video you can go up before I put these pitch functions on these two buttons but now these two buttons are for the um, for recording the loops it's easier now so if I want to record an audio loop it's this button like this it if I press two times on the button and I can record video as well with this button over here this is the loop I can erase it if I press two times on this button and it disappears over here. So yeah. So yeah, th these are the functions of this Chrome extension. You can download it on my profile and try it out and tell me if I should fix bugs or add some new stuff that could be nice. For the last, I kept this little button <laughs> in here to clear all the cues over here. If I press it, they disappear. I hope you like it. Tell me if uh, it's useful for you. And yeah, share it if you can and like uh, this video and thank you.